Hello. Hi, your name. Hello, your name. My teacher. Hello. Hi, how are you? Hi, good. I'm very fine. Great. Okay. Yesterday yes. you didn't, you, you couldn't join the class, right? I can't. You couldn't. Uh, for, for my job. Oh. Uh-huh. Uh, I'm coming at, at 8. At 8 o'clock. Oh, you came late. Oh. Yeah. 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 It's night. Yes. Uh-huh. But it's the, it's the first thing. It, well, <laughs> it's the first time that it happens. Yes. Okay. Yeah. So what happened to me? And you didn't say nothing via chat. So I was like yeah, wondering yeah, okay. what happened with you. But that's nice to have you here. But yesterday we continue working on the simple past. And ah, okay. um, we were trying to, well, we stop here in this exercise. We were trying to solve this. Okay. Uh, there are some mistakes. Well, there is one mistake in each sentence or question here. And we were correcting them. The topic is the simple past. We have already studied that topic before. So mm -hmm. in the first sentences, as you can see, it says they eat dinner at six o'clock yesterday. The correct sentence is 
They ate. They ate. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. yeah, mm -hmm. ate the what okay. do you think is the mistake in number two? It says, did Maria drop to work this morning? Uh, did Maria drive to work? The, drive. To work, to uh -huh. drive. Uh, yeah. Drive Maria to work. To work this morning. Uh huh. Because we are using the auxiliary did, so mm -hmm. we don't change the verb. Okay, yeah. very good, Renee. That's the number two. What about number three? Um, I not. Um, I not finish my. Uh, one moment. Uh, I not finished my homework last night. I not finished it. Uh, remember that it, it is a negative statement in simple I didn't. past. Uh -huh. I didn't. <laughs> uh -huh. I didn't finish. I finished my, uh, my homework last night. Uh -huh. I didn't. Yeah. Number four, Renee. Uh, did you bossy? Did you uh, to bossy last? Uh, okay. Did you did you bossy last Monday? Mm. Uh, no. No. What is busy? Mm. What is the meaning of busy, Edgar? Ah. Uh, eh, comprar. No, busy, busy. This is the uh, one that we are solving, right? Busy. Ah, mm -hmm. uh, okay. Eh. Mm -hmm. No teacher. Uh, what what don't mm -hmm. you okay you don't know the meaning of busy uh, is it no no no, no. Uh, busy is an adjective busy means uh -huh. ocupado u ocupada uh -huh. ah okay entonces lo que allí falta Rene, Es el verbo. The youth bossy. Mm. ¿Cómo le preguntaría a alguien si estuvo ocupado o u ocupada? Eh, bueno, sería. Estuviste, estuviste ocupada, ocupada ajá, el último lunes. El lunes pasado, ajá. ¿eh? El lunes pasado, ajá. ¿eh? Uh -huh. ¿Cómo sería? Eh, ¿Cero está? Did, eh, did you... No, cero estar en pasado. No. Ah, did you was... Did, did you... Eh, no, René. Eh, don't you remember the past of the verb to be? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, was where? Uh huh. Was or where? Uh huh. Was or where? Uh huh. Uh, so did you? Did uh, no. Did. <laughs> Se trabó todo, René. Yes. Ok. Sí. Esto es, René, acuérdese que el pasado simple, digamos que lo dividimos en dos, básicamente. El pasado simple con el verbo to be y el pasado simple con los demás bueno, verbos. ¿Verdad? Uh -huh. Cuando usamos uh -huh. el pasado simple del verbo to be, ¿se recuerda cuál es el pasado del verbo to be? 
Was. Was and. And where. Where. Ajá. Uh -huh. Was and where. Eh, mm -hmm. Y no se mezcla cuando usamos was o were, no se usa el auxiliar did. Mm -hmm. el, um, entonces sería were you. Were you busy last uh -huh. Monday? Estuviste ocupado uh -huh. el mes pasado. Were you busy last Monday? And we have William mm -hmm. there. ¿Qué se había hecho, William? Voy a tener para conectarme porque nos mudamos de casa. Okay, great. Um, what is the mistake in, in number five? What is the mistake in number five? Mm. Eh. That, that should buy a new car yesterday. Uh, pero dice yesterday, entonces no podemos usar das. Uh, it's pasado. Okay. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, Did. Mm. Uh -huh. did, she did she buy, buy uh -huh. did a new she car buy yesterday? A new car yesterday. Uh-huh. Did she buy a new car yesterday? Now number six. Uh, I I want to went to Montreal two years ago. Uh, I wanted to go to Montreal two years ago. Uh huh. I wanted to go. I wanted to go. Porque aquí ya tengo este verbo en pasado. El siguiente mm -hmm. verbo tiene que ir en infinitivo. Uh huh. A ponerle el tú y no conjugarlo. I wanted to go to Montreal two years ago. Okay, what is the mistake in number seven? Where? Where, Where? you late? Uh-huh. Where you late? Where you late? Where no was where because of the subject. Now yeah. in number eight, what is the mistake? <clears throat> Who, who are you talking to? Who? Who did you? Who, who, who did you talk to? Uh -huh. Don't conjugate talk. Not talked. It's talk. Mm -hmm. Talk. Uh -huh. Sin okay. ed. Sin ed. Porque ya tenemos mm -hmm. el auxiliar yeah. ahí. Yeah. Uh -huh. Now, mm -hmm. number nine. Uh, was you stay in Washington or no. uh, where where did where does you where, where does, where you, is, where, no, where does, where does really, because it's not present it's past uh -huh. where did where did uh -huh, where did where did you stay in Washington? Mm -hmm. Number 10. Number 10. I was read the book last year. Mm. I was read. I have two verbs there. Mm -hmm. I read 
I read, uh -huh. I read a book. Uh -huh. A was is not necessary there. Now, what about number 11? Ah, uh -huh. John. Uh, right to Argentina last week. John flied. Is that correct, the verb? Flight. Mm -hmm. uh, last week. Ah. John flew. John flew. Uh -huh. That is an irregular verb. No yeah. ed. Yeah. It changed writing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now number twelve. F L E W. Uh huh. F L E W. F L E W. Flew. Flew. Mm -hmm. Number twelve. Uh, he was. He wasn't at home last night. He wasn't. Uh huh. Yeah. He wasn't at home, at home last, night. last night. Okay. Very good. And number thirteen. I did. It. I didn't, I didn't see the movie. Uh, saw the movie last weekend. Okay, I didn't see. Acuérdese yeah. que cuando auxiliamos, el auxiliar, no cambiamos no, el verbo. Ah, no cambia. Mm -hmm. El verbo se deja simple. Okay, very uh -huh. good. Uh, that's a review. That is for uh, 14. What do you do last night? What do... What? What you no? What did you do last night? What did you do last night? What did them? you do last night? Uh huh. What did you do last night? Um, number fifteen. Did they, uh, did they have they a good time, a good time at the party? Time at a party. Has to. Uh, I can come back. Has for how? Porque estamos mm. utilizando el auxiliar. Did they? Uh, did how? they have a good time? Uh -huh. party? Did they have? No a has because they is plural. It's not their person, so it's have. What did they mm -hmm. have? Okay. And uh, the last one, 16. Did you do in class yesterday? Mm -mm. Did you stay? Creo que eso falta el verbo. Ah, uh, podría ser did you stay? Y si fuera estuviste, de cero estar. Mm. Eh, did you watch? No, no, no. no. Did you, did you? Eh... No le ponga did si va a usar was o where. Mm. Were you in class yesterday? Uh -huh. Were you in class yesterday? Very good. Okay, now. Well, this is a review, a, a general review. Esto es lo que estábamos haciendo ayer, le comentaba a René. Okay. Eh, ayer estuvimos haciendo este ejercicio y quedamos pendientes. Quedamos casi a la mitad y se nos terminó el tiempo. Pero bueno, ustedes dos no, no estuvieron en la clase de ayer. Eh, ahora nos toca ver lo que es el pasado del verbo to be. Vamos a hacer ese repaso. Ok. Ok. Es siempre parte de los contenidos de la plataforma. Ustedes tienen que estar 
Ok, como se fijaron, ¿verdad? Um, voy a silenciar porque hay alguien por ahí con una moto. No sé, alguien está haciendo algo con una moto, no sé. Si tienen dudas, acuérdense que pueden poner la manita o habilitar su micrófono si, si quieren hablar en algún momento, ¿verdad? Ok, uh, recuerden lo que les decía anteriormente, el pasado, para comprenderlo mejor, hay que mentalizarse que se divide en dos partes. Pasado simple con el verbo to be y pasado simple con todos los demás verbos. El, cuando es con el verbo to be, eh, en presente lo conjugamos en tres formas, ¿verdad? Decimos am, is, are. En pasado es mucho más sencillo porque solamente lo conjugamos en to was y were. Esta cómo se va conjugando dependiendo del sujeto. Si es I, was, he was, she was, it was. You, al ser segunda persona y también plural. You, acordémonos que significa tú y también significa ustedes. Entonces, you lo conjugamos con were. Si es we, decimos were. Si es you, were. Y they, were. Ok. Son las dos formas de conjugar el verbo to be en pasado, que es ser o estar, entonces eso fui o estuve, right? Now, um, si es uh, impersonal information, dice aquí, porque nosotros anteriormente hablábamos de la, cuando uh, queremos decir hay algo, uh, cuando hablamos de la existencia de algo, lo usamos uh, con el verbo to be. Decimos there is cuando es algo singular, ¿verdad? Puedo, puedo decir uh, que hay una, hay una computadora acá. Eh, I say there is a computer here. Hay una computadora acá. Si yo quiero decir hay tres estudiantes en clases, tengo que decir there are three students in class. Right? There is y there are. En pasado se convierte en there was para singular y there were for plural. Uh, si yo uh, quiero decir en pasado había y es singular digo there was. Ok. Uh, si es plural, there were. Ok. Uh, como, bueno, si estamos como recordando infancia o tiempos pasados, podría decir que había muchos árboles en Santa Tecla. There were many trees in Santa Tecla. Uh, there was a big house in the corner where I lived. There is... Para hablar acerca de acciones que se completaron en el pasado es que se usa uh, el pasado simple, ¿verdad? Para hablar sobre algo que ya sucedió, que ya pasó. Por ejemplo, I was at school yesterday. Estoy diciendo que estuve en la escuela ayer. Ya, ya no, ayer, ya, ya estuve. I was at school yesterday. Yo estuve. Uh, podemos usar referencias de tiempo, palabras como yesterday, yesterday morning, yesterday evening, and like that. Last Monday, last week, last month, last year, in 2010, etc. Now, let's make affirmative statements using the keywords. And write complete sentences with was and were. There was and there were. Okay. Make affirmative statement here. John and the doctors. For example, John 
was at the doctor's. I'm going to open up the room so you can participate. Ya se fue la moto. Sí, ya no se escucha. Yeah. Era un vecino el que estaba... <laughs> sí, sí, suele pasar. Ok. Sí. Now, next slide. Let's make a sentence. Okay. Tom. Tom was scared. And he was. Tom. Tom was, was scared. scared. Uh -huh. Tom was scared. Tom was Como scared. Que Tom. Tom tuvo Tom miedo. Estaba. Asustado. Acuérdese que eso estaba es cero asustado. estar. Tom estaba uh -huh. asustado. We went. We were. We were school. We went school. We were at school. We were at school. We were at school. Yeah, ahorita estamos practicando el pasado simple con solo uh, el verbo to be. Was y were. He was behind. There was a bee. There was, there was a bee behind, behind. the beehive. Behind the beehive. Shakespeare. Shakespeare. Was English. Shakespeare was English. Shakespeare. Apple. It's apple was apple. There were apple trees. There were or there, there were was. Apples. There were there were a lot of there were no, a lot of apples in the tree. Uh huh. There were a lot of apples Apple. in the tree. Mm -hmm. Negative. Negative. Okay. negative. Uh -huh. Let's remember that in negative, we form the negative like that. And wasn't weren't. Uh -huh. Wasn't and weren't. Ahí no usamos didn't. No usamos didn't. Lo que les decía al principio. No se combina. Ok. okay. El pasado del verbo to be. No se combina con los demás verbos. Aquí para ser negativas las hacemos con el mismo verbo to be, solo agregándole not. Wasn't, weren't. Wasn't, weren't. You weren't. And this is how we formulate it. Ahí tenemos cómo se conjuga con las personales. Eh, I wasn't, you weren't, he wasn't, she wasn't, it wasn't, we weren't, you weren't, they weren't. Ahora, las impersonales, que son las que decíamos que es para hablar de algo que había o existía, cuando es singular, que decimos no había, there was not o there wasn't, there were not for plural o there weren't. Now let's make negative sentences. You see, wasn't, weren't, there wasn't, and there weren't. 
For example, here we say they and we have sad. sad. We need to make negative statements, so we say they were sad. They were sad. They were sad. She, she, she wasn't at home. She, she was wasn't at home. She wasn't at home. At the home. Mm -hmm. He was in the supermarket. At the supermarket. He wasn't at the supermarket. There weren't eight candles. They weren't eight candles. Perfect. Good job. It was, it was number seven. Mozart. Wasn't it wasn't it wasn't Italian. 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 And we were in London. London. <laughs> 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 Justo lo que vamos a decir. <laughs> I imagine. Make this sentence two for you in the correct form. Estas mm. tenemos que hacerlas eh, de acuerdo a nuestra realidad. Okay. okay. Por ejemplo, en mi realidad y en la de ustedes, ayer no fue día de, de Navidad, ¿verdad? No. Uh -huh. Entonces diríamos it. It wasn't Christmas just yesterday. Ajá. Uh -huh. Diríamos it wasn't Christmas Day yesterday. Mm. Tratemos de hacerlas en el cuaderno a modo que sean reales para ustedes las oraciones. Okay. Finished? Yeah. Okay, uh, let's see. Number one, we said it wasn't Christmas Day yesterday. Number two, Guadalupe? The day was. The day was. It wasn't. It wasn't. There, there wasn't. There was There wasn't or there weren't. There wasn't. There weren't. Pero dice 25 estudiantes. There were students in class. Ajá, entonces es plural. There weren't. Ajá, tendría que ser there weren't. There were 25 students in class. Okay, number three, Joan. I wasn't ill last week. Last week. Okay, very good. Number four, William. It wasn't sunny yesterday uh, morning. Okay, very good. Number five, Renee.
I was born in 1999. Very good. Um, number six, Ricardo. Max went on Monday at 10.35. Okay, good. Um, number seven, Rene. There uh, were a school trip last month. Uh, there were a school trip. Sure. Mm -hmm. There was a school trip. There was a school month. trip last night. Last uh -huh. Well, uh -huh, because it's singular. Un mm -hmm. viaje de escuela mm -hmm. is there was or there wasn't. Was. Mm -hmm. Okay, my mother, number eight. Um, my mother was sent my mother angry was yesterday. yesterday. Okay, my, my mother, mother was what? Mm -hmm. Okay, very nice. Let's continue. <laughs> Ok, ahora lo que tienen que hacer es escribirlas en pasado. Por ejemplo, la número uno, number one, it says, I'm hungry. ¿Cómo la trasladarían a pasado? I was hungry. I was hungry. I was hungry. Ajá. Number two. Peter was British. Ajá. Peter was British. Number three. There were a book. There were a book. There, 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 there were a book. There, there was, was a book. There, there was a book. Was, porque es singular. Singular. Quiero there decir, was a book. Había un libro. There was a book. We were in class. Uh, we were, uh -huh, we class. were in oh. class. There were some pens. There were some pens. There were some pens. Uh -huh. The children, the children, are, the children in the park. are in the park. The children. Um, well, oh, no, I'm sorry. The children were in the park. The, the, the children were. were. Uh -huh, the were. children were. Porque la palabra were. children is Child plural. Is single. Uh -huh. Children is uh -huh. plural. Uh -huh. There was so. Uh, Mary was sad. Mary was sad. Mary was sad. Mary was sad. Uh -huh. Mary was sad. And number eight? The, the, the cat was, was in the kitchen. Was in the kitchen. Yeah. Okay, the cat was in the kitchen. Very good. That was very nice. Now, let's talk a little bit about the British homes. This is another exercise in which we are going to continue practicing the simple past. Okay, we're going to talk in this a little bit about history. And the first, we're going to talk about the British homes. British homes, vamos a estar usando was and were, wasn't and weren't. Uh -huh. okay. Si podrían, bueno, por el momento nada más escriban las respuestas. Yo les voy a mandar esta hojita después al, al WhatsApp. Solo escriban las respuestas. Para que no escriban todo, todo, todo. The cells were in England from 700 before Christ. The typical Celtic house was, was a bit. Was a bit. It was more. It was a wall around without any window. 
Number of houses was in line. Celtic house. Celtic houses was very simple. Was very simple. But Roman house was very beautiful. The poor in a Roman house was often a mosaic. Queen Victoria was Queen Jean Victoria's was Queen during Victoria's period. Victorian houses were very attractive. Attractive. And the window often colorful, but the houses was very close together. Was interesting or surprising? Surprising. Try to use and tell us about it. We finished. Yeah, finished. Okay. So let's read. Can you read the first one, um, Joan, with your answer? Your microphone, Joan, you are muted. Let's see. Okay. The Celts were in England from 700 before Christ. The typical Celtic house was, wasn't big. It was small and round without okay. any windows. That's correct. Very good, John. Next one, William. The Roman house weren't like Celtic house. Celtic no. house. No, no, no. That's okay. The Roman house is yeah. weren't. Weren. Because weren't. it's plural and it's negative. Uh huh. The weren't. Roman houses weren't. Like Celtic house. Celtic house uh, were very simple, but the Roman house were very beautiful. The floral Roman house was often a mosaic. Okay, excellent. Yes. Uh, weekend houses, volunteers. 
Me? Okay, Ricardo. The king houses were were long building animal and people <clears throat> was together in the same No, building. no, no, repeat. Animals and people ah, okay, okay. Were were together in the same We're building. together. Uh-huh. Were together the in same the same building. building. So the house wasn't uh, very clean. Wasn't very clean. Okay. So it was the weekend word and people were together. So the house, the house, la ultima, was, Ricardo? Wasn't, wasn't very clean. Wasn't okay, very, very good. Clean. Very good. Okay, Henry, a hey, uh, volunteer. Okay. Uh, okay. Henry eight uh, was count during during uh, to during uh, to to the period. Period in England children counts uh, were often black and white. Okay, well done, Renee. Well done. Now Queen Victoria. Let's read about Queen Victoria. Volunteer William. Okay, William. Okay. Hello. William. Okay. Yes. Queen Victoria. Okay. Queen Victoria was queen during the Victorian period. Victorian house uh, were were very attractive and the window often colorful. But the houses uh, were very close together. Okay. Excellent. Now the same uh, process, so we're going to continue here, uh, the same, using the past of the bird being. Okay, uh, the same thing, um, para continuar la lectura acá, este es un... Um, Básicamente lo mismo. Vamos a estar usando was, were, wasn't, and weren't. Solo escriban el número y le ponen was o were. Wasn't or weren't. Number one, for example. Number one, it will be how your last school trip. Como estamos hablando del viaje. Como estuvo el viaje. La número uno nos quedaría, how was your last school trip? Y así sucesivamente van a ir haciendo el resto de los items.
Okay, finish. Okay. Finish. <clears throat> So we're going to check your work. Mm -hmm. Okay, in number one, we said, how was your last school trip? Number two, Rene? Uh, how last trip it was in Windsor, Windsor Castle. Castle is one of request. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Number two, Rene, number two. Okay, here is the we number were, one. We were. How was your last school trip? Uh -huh. Okay, uh, the next to last trip was, was it? Uh -huh. was, was it? it? Was it? Was it interesting or surprising? Or surprising produce and the tells about it okay nice number three john uh your microphone our last trip was to windsor castle mm -hmm. okay good william Windsor Castle is one on the Queen's home, but she only stayed there at weekends. We were there on Monday. Okay, Ricardo, so the Queen and her family? Were there. Weren't there. Weren't. Weren't there. Weren't there. Why? Um, because um, the queens, oh no, were there because the family were there on at weekends. Ajá, uh -huh. dice que la familia acá dice ella on, uh, ella solamente está ahí um, los fines de semana. Nosotros estuvimos ahí el lunes, así es que la reina y su familia uh, no estaban ahí. Bueno. Por eso es negativo. Weren't there. Ajá. They were. They. Weren't there. Ok. Aquí estamos, ¿verdad? They were at Buckingham. Yes. They were at Buckingham Palace. They, they were at Buckingham Palace. In London. The Queen's home in London. Ajá. Uh -huh. That's there it. were many beautiful shires and carpets and Windsor Castle. But my favorite things uh, was Queen Many of uh, is Queen those Many house. those house. It was a great from of the people of England, Suri Queen May, the wife of George V in the 1920. Okay. Okay, so uh, this is it. That was our class about just the simple past of the verb to be. Uh, it's time to go to bed or have dinner. And uh, thank you. I will send that for uh, to your WhatsApp group later. And thank you for clicking. <clears throat> See you tomorrow Thank with another talk. Good night. Thank you, okay. teacher. Thank good you. night. Okay, good night, everyone. See you tomorrow. Return with your same hair. Yes, again, the ponytail. <laughs> <laughs> okay, teacher. Yeah. Have a good night. Good night. Bye.